Well, if your deal with Emily is so gosh darn wonderful, then why don't you just marry her? What's stopping you? Nothing. Wow. She gets in tomorrow. I made a reservation at some fancy French restaurant on the Upper East Side. Oh my God, you're doing it in front of a room full of strangers? Yeah. Yeah, what's wrong with that? No, nothing. I think it shows confidence. What are you going to say? I'm still working on it. I don't know. Oh, you should work on it with me. You should practice with me. I'm really good at that. I will be Emily. I'm Emily, your college sweetheart. Is there something you wanted to ask me? Emily. Wait, you got to get down on your knee. No, I'm not getting down on my knee. She'll like it. She'll like seeing you down on your knee. I'm not getting down on my knee. Such a mistake. OK. Emily. Yes, William. Don't make me laugh. Emily. Will you um, marry me? No. Oh, my God. Well, what do you mean, will you um, marry me? I haven't seen you in weeks. You don't look happy or excited about the prospect of our marriage. You're asking me to give up my, my freedom, my joie de vivre, for an institution that fails as often as it succeeds. And why should I marry you anyway? I mean, why do you want to marry me? Besides some bourgeois desire to fulfill an ideal that society embeds in us from an early age to promote a consumer capitalist agenda. Oh! <laughs> oh my God! You should have got on your knees. Just shut up. Here. I want to marry you because you're the first person that I want to look at when I wake up in the morning and the only one I want to kiss goodnight. Because the first time that I saw these hands, I couldn't imagine not being able to hold them. But mainly, when you love someone as much as I love you, getting married is the only thing left to do. So, will you? Um, marry me. Definitely. Maybe. I have to think about it. 